What's going on guys and welcome back to another spectacular read-through of all times. I am the big cliche. I am big uh, Papa Pump. Without the pump, I am the rock that is never hard. King Kong got a lot on me. I am T B R Terabyte Reacts. And I would just like to say, you are welcome. Welcome back. Finally, we're back to watching some, not watching, but reading through some of this greatness, this manga greatness of Hajime no Ippo. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to apologize. <laughs> it's, it, you know, I'm so glad that I have a community that, that, you know, they understand. You know, um, trying uh, trying to juggle a lot. You know, it's it's not easy to juggle a lot of things at once. You know, women like to say, "Oh, we're so good at multitasking." Multitasking is not. It's it's not a gender thing. <laughs> it's it's really not. Stop. <laughs> Stop. You know what I'm saying? I've been managing plenty of stuff. It's all about your management of time when it comes on to multitasking it's all about management of time and you know there were some hiccups that came in that caused me to kind of fall off of not doing this so i'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like what i did you know was right or wrong you know what i'm saying it's just that it is what it is it's been a while so let's get to it we know that miata is in the middle of a fight Okay, I think we're going into the third round, if I'm not mistaken. Um, cause I, you know, I didn't go back to review anything. I just know that these are characters that I love. Right now, Hajime no Ippo anime is in the number one spot of my, where I feel like it should be, my in my top five. In my top five, it's at the number one spot right now. And the reason why I give Ippo the number one spot is not because, oh, I think other than the fact that, you know, it's a really good sports anime. It's not just that. It's the way how Ippo has impacted me since I've watched the anime, now diving in to the manga. You know what I mean? And that's why it has the number one spot. It's, it's, it's Ippo, it's, it's Hunter Hunter, right? So... Um, it is what it is. Just, it's just where it's at right now. So we're going to jump in, man. Let's not waste any more time. Um, thank God I remembered how to do my intro. I didn't even practice it, to be honest. I just, I just came in and did it. I'm surprised I remembered, you know, what I said in my intros. <laughs> but in any case, guys, let's jump in. Let's knock out these 10 chapters. You already know we do 10 chapters per upload. Um, I think that's about a volume's worth of ch um, of um, of chapters uh, of the sh manga that we do. A volume's worth. It may not be the actual volumes that come out, but I think ten chapters is a volume's worth of this manga. So we're gonna be doing ten episodes per upload um, on Sundays, two times per month going forward. Hopefully. That we can get that done because even when when I have a schedule it's so much easier for me because I know I have to do it if I don't do it then I'll let you guys know if I didn't get a chance to do it but it's good to have a schedule because when you see it on the schedule it'll be like okay I got this to do you know let me hop off of this to go do that blah blah, blah. you know what I'm saying even today I was reacting and you know I got interrupting interrupted in my reaction there's one show that I'm gonna have to put over till tomorrow that I can do it tomorrow but for today um, I decided to just go ahead and do the Ippo because I did not want to have to do Ippo and Berserk back to back on the same day recording it because I have to be constantly talking so it's it's a little different when it comes on to the read-throughs 
it's a little bit different okay so just bear with me and we will get there in time so let's jump into this and uh, and definitely stay towards let's jump in let's switch over and let's get to it it's, it's gonna be a little different it's not gonna be like how i had it before it's going to be a little different and i and i might start just opening up the panels on youtube i don't know yet i'm gonna still have like a little bit of blockage but probably not much of a blockage to be honest on youtube but we'll we'll see i don't know because i'm probably going to be in the middle of the screen of what's showing there so i don't i i really don't know yet or what to tell you guys of how this is going to look so once we switch over i might make a decision i might not but i think me being in the middle and a little bit smaller will it, it, it's a little bit better for me but we'll see we'll see how it goes you know what i mean we'll see how it goes anyways let's go all right so as i said before like let me take this off. I need to be as free as possible because I don't need no headphones and not listening to anything. So this is the new format, guys, that I'm going with. Um, I'm probably going to maybe block off the top edge of this for YouTube. But if you want to see the full version of it, of always, it's going to be early access. It's going to be there a day before uh, a day um, early access on Patreon. So if you want my um, react, if you want my read throughs on Saturdays instead of Sundays, um, definitely go sign up for the Patreon. It's not that big a deal. If you want to wait a day, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how much longer people who want to support me can support me on Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually I think I'm going to transfer it all, all the early access to YouTube, but for those of you who are already over there, fine, you can go ahead. But it, but let's get into this greatness, man. Let's get into this. You know what I'm saying? So we've just entered the third round of the OPBF title match. And it's become a one-sided bout. So you see, this way I don't have to worry about it going out of screen or anything like that. You have me right here in the middle. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of the action, I feel like I'm in the ring. Oh, man. Miata is destroying this dude, though. Knocking his head back. It's the champion's match. He cuts down the challenger with his high-speed punches. He's in a whole different league. You can't lay a finger on him. It's only a matter of time. The fight's already over. He's strong. If that were me down there... The same thing would be happening to me, though Ippo is talking to himself. It's an entirely different face from the one he started with this match. His depth perception is gone. He truly seems at his rope's end. But even so, he still charges in. Uh, Miata. Is, damn, Miata hit him with a counter again? And a counter strike hits him. The challenger's body collapses. And there goes the bell. The challenger has been saved. The hand has been delayed until at least the fourth round. This guy is taking a beating. That's why I'm wondering if something is going to happen here. It's over. Right? That challenger can't keep on going off of his toughness alone. He'll fall prey to counters if he gets serious and keeps charging in but if he chickens out the combos will kill him just as well he's already finished they don't need an extra three minutes i don't know much about the sport after all this time you've been watching this kumi 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 all this time you've been watching this sport you still don't know what's going on <laughs> but i understand what's going on i don't know much about this sport but I understand what's going on. Oh my God. The champion down there is incredibly strong. Does Makanauchi-san seriously want to fight with him? Of course. He want all the smoke. What are you talking about? Even though he could get beaten up like this challenger, does he have no fear? Damn right, my boy Makanauchi doesn't have no fear. 
He's excited. That's what I'm talking about. You get excited for that. This is the Miata Kun that I know. Ever since I first started boxing, he made me serious about it and he became my goal. This is how Miata Kun ought to be. All right. Your opponent is worn out. We have no reason to let this match drag on for any longer. That being the case, go finish him off in the next round. Um, the, 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 the problem with the, the thing that I with Miata, Miata can score knockdowns, but he still lacks power. So that's one of the things with him. I know he's developed to have he's more of he's a counter puncher. So it's not necessarily when you're a counter puncher right you know mo a lot of that strength you're using against your opponent so you're using your opponent's strength against him like you'll you have him lean into a punch like a counter punch you know what i'm saying he's already heading in your in the punch's direction so you just have to hit it really so there's no there's power and don't get me wrong he has power he just he don't have it pose kind of power where you know what I'm saying like how many times have he put this guy down already he's still getting up so we'll see we'll see he said you haven't got anything to say he says huh um is there something bugging you just focus on the enemy in front of you maybe he saw Makanauchi out in the crowd oh it's just that I found a familiar face hmm I guess he, he saw Ippo or, oh, is, is <laughs> Sakaguchi, the bum. Okay, I knew that if I felt such an ominous presence, it would have to be that old geezer. Hmm, there's no need to worry. It's not the old geezer I'm worried about, but the man sitting next to him. Do you recognize him at all, Dad? The man next to him? Is that, um, I don't remember his name, but I'm pretty sure we've met him before. He's like, uh, I have no idea. It's the first time I've ever seen him. Probably just some pawn of Mr. Sakaguchi that's here to check you out. But like I said, there's no need to worry about them for now. Just focus on the match. Don't get distracted by them. Okay. This also, this is also my first time seeing this man, but... But there's something that's very captivating about those eyes of his. They somehow seem vaguely familiar to me. Some saying he looks familiar. Is that? But when? But when? Where have I seen him? I can't shake this feeling that is something important. I have to try to. Nigga, you in a fight right now? Oh! Damn! He got a free shot because he here not concentrating, bro. Got a free shot. The champion has been caught by a sudden blow. At the sound of the bell, the challenger charged in and beelined it to throw a hard left hand. That one really got to him. The champ's knees buckle. Idiot, I told you to focus. Get away from him and get in your range. Get away. Oh, he's stepping on his toes. No, not again. My people always cheating against Miata, bro. It's a right. Direct hit. Will he go down from that? He's still on his feet. He barely avoids the knockdown. He stepped on his foot. That's a foul. He'll do what it takes to win. And he's still coming. He can't get away. The flow's change. He's in big trouble now. He leans on his body. And negates the reach advantage. Oh, damn, his damn foot. Damn, Miata. His eyes try and remember where I know them. From somewhere. The, oh my god, now he's headbutting him. He's like, now's your chance. Just throw in anything. You can knock him out. He takes his distance, but these fouls have made it a rough fight. The champion's face is now covered in blood. Ah, uh, ha, Ichiro, a headbutt, an elbow, he's only using fouls, 
that spoiled brat's never been good at taking hits. It's become anyone's game now. Maybe you and Miata were never destined to face each other. And Ippo is like, that's ridiculous. Who is this dude, man? He looks familiar to me too. He looks familiar. It's like, I want to know what this ref is doing in the ring. Like, honestly, what what is he doing? What What is he doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he doing? How is it that he can't catch any of these fouls? All right, let's keep going. The champion receives a heavy combo. He isn't using his footwork at all, and it looks as if he's about to go down. Looks like you're in a pinch. Get away from him. Get moving, Ichiro. Use your footwork. He can't use his feet anymore because the dude stepped on his feet. He's lost his wings. Now that the speed advantage is gone, what will happen next? He's finally trapped him. He has him against the ropes and makes his head spin around just like a pinball. Is Miata really going to lose this fight, bro? He's like, now's your trance. Don't let him get away. Finish it with everything that you got. He's going for a counter. And he doesn't land it. <sighs> Miata, man. What 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 is it going to take? For you, for us to get this, this, this destined match that we've been waiting on, man. He missed it. Miata couldn't miss the, the, miss the counter. He's lost his focus along with his wings. And he bounces off the ropes, falling forward. This could be a down. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. He's still standing. Is his pride as the champion keeping him up? But he can't keep his legs under him. Keep on going. Just one shot will be enough. Dude is coming in. Oh my. And the referee stepped in between them. He's going to stop the match. What? Is it all over? Why did you stop it? He was just about to knock him out. He's calling the doctor over. Due to the champions bleeding, the match will briefly pause. So the doc's going to check him out. Thought the referee was going to stop it. That's cheating. You're just going to let me out of rest? Hurry and resume the match. Get ready to go again, Jong Bong. Get on the offensive once it re resumes. That bleeding doesn't look too good. Could turn into a doctor stop. The doctor and the referee look very serious. Can the champion's cut be that deep? What happens if it's a doctor stop? Doesn't that mean he loses? Hey, wait a second now. So what happens now? What'll happen to his match against Makana Uchi then? That's the fight that we really want to see. You can't just let it end here, Miata. Hey, doctor, don't stop the fight. Please let them keep on fighting. Let them fight, let them fight. Will they be taking it to a decision? Will it resume or will it end? Let them fight. You're all making a fuss over nothing. Soon the winner will be decided here and it'll be in our favor. Maybe you and Miata were never destined to face each other. I'll never believe it. I'm not going to believe that. It's pretty deep. I'm sorry, but it's best to call it off. Oh, damn. Oh, I see. Why are you in my way? Huh? Hey, I've got somewhere I have to go. So stay out of my way. The champion turns around. Will the match resume now? Hey, wait, Miata. Nah, dude. Miata wants to fight. Let's go. He's still got some fight left in him. Let them go. Yeah, let them do it. And the challenger dashes from his corner. Box <laughs> and the fight resumes again. All right, let's keep going, man. It's like, and the fight resumes again. All right, Miata's 
Got a little time to rest, <laughs> giving the ref signal. The challenger bolts straight ahead. He's going for a sidestep. He's going to circle around him. Ah, but the champion's unable to move. The damage prevents him from using his legs. <laughs> My body feels heavy, but why? I don't remember getting hit that much. No, could I have been out cold and then gotten hit? Ichiro, in front of you. This man don't stop thinking about stupid things, man. Get hit again and he takes a nasty blow. The champion knees are shaking. Will this be a surprise upset? He missed with his counter again. His body can't keep him up. The prince's sword has gotten pretty rusty. From the look of things, I doubt he'll make a one-hit comeback. Finish it now, Zhang Bang. Don't let this chance slip. The belt's in your grasp. You're about to become the champion. And all right. Will this bring him down? I mean, I is staying in there though. I ain't gotta give. I gotta give him props for that. He is staying in there right now. He's still standing after that. If he takes the next one, he'll be finished. This is it. Cut him down. Miata gun. Why is this happening to me? Why am I so distracted? Whoa, here it comes. Watch out. Hey, eyes front. There's somewhere I have to go. And a promise that I need to keep. So don't. Don't. Get in my way! Yo. He woke up, he woke up. Ha! Ah! Ooh, is that a counter? Looks like a counter. From Miata. Ooh, got him! Or was it they traded punches? Yeah, they traded punches now. The champion wants to duke it out after losing his footwork. It's a slugfest in the center of the ring. It's exactly what we wanted. This is it, Zhang Bang. Okay, let's see who got it then. All right. Let's keep it going. That was a short one. Things are heating up in the center of the ring. Who will come out on top in this slugfest? The worst match ever. <laughs> oh my God, they're trading punches. Simultaneous shots fired and bowed of their faces fly into the air. But the challenger doesn't seem to be having as much trouble. So far, he leads in this punching match. Oh man, Miata is still taking some serious damage. This ain't his style, he needs to get away. Don't let him slip past you, Zhang Bang. A sudden offensive the challenger sets out to finish things. Can the champ hang on? Go, keep going. Don't let him rest for a second. And it, uh, Miata's father says, if you back away now, you lose. All right. Ooh, they still trade. Oh, he got, look like he got a good hitting right here. Boom. And a light speed cross hits. Whoa, he did it. The champion pulls off the counter punch. He's still on his feet. He isn't affected by it. The prince's blade has lost his edge. It didn't work. That just can't be. His greatest weapon is utterly useless against you. You've got nothing to fear anymore. Go for it, Zhang Bang. Ah. Ippo seems worried, Miyata-kun. I can't waste. I can't waste any time here. So don't get in my way. Yo, Ichi, he's fighting out here. Miyata is he's fighting. In a slugfest, trading punches, man. Something I'll nev I've never seen him do before. He's he, he, he giving him the business right now. Zhang Bang is he's taking to woo. Yo, smashing the face in, bro. Yo, my guy said, Yo, yo, Miata is, Miata is like, listen, man, I got a date. 
And you, oh, he's murdering him. He is murdering him, people. He is folding Jung Bong, okay? He's murdering him in the ring right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Miata is Miata, Miata. Yo, my dude is screaming out for his boxer, bro. Yo, he hit him while he was down. Yo, Miata is a savage. Yo, the ref. Yo! Miata, stop! It's over! Miata became a savage! It's like, whoa, the ref has put a stop. I put a stop to it. This match is over. The champion has won in this duel of fist. Okay. Alright, Miata. And on the losing side of the battle, the challenger sinks deeper and deeper into the mat. The outcome was decided by a sudden, hot-headed combination. Miata Ichiro wins. He defends the OPBF title with his life. Man, that was awesome. Both are bleeding everywhere. That was like a street fight. Hey, so we ended up winning after all it was damn nerve-wracking but we all know what's coming up next now he looked like he was gonna kill him even if his blade was rusty he was still able to use it just fine even so it didn't seem like he was fighting the way that he usually does no you know what i'm saying who knows? He may have hurt his hand probably too. This was my worst match ever. Alright, alright. <laughs> worst match worst match ever, that comment, right? Look at what you did. You know what I'm saying? Is that's crazy because he, he 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 was the savage in the ring at the end there. It's like me had to couldn't did it. He won. So can we get Ippo versus Miata now? Can we do that? And now it's time for an interview with tonight's victor. The match we promised. The champion overcame a great struggle to come out on top and retain the OPBF title. I'd like to hear how he feels. Eh? There won't be an interview, but why? Because he already did. Ah, uh, he's already left. Well, in any case, stay tuned for details on the next event presented by Dynamite Glove. Have a good night, everyone. Miyata Kun did it. He won. You're making a fool of yourself, Shadow Boxing. <laughs> that was an awesome fight. But I would have liked to hear his post-match remarks, though. He said he got dragged into a slugfest, not his specialty. He just probably didn't want to give an interview full of regrets. If he tries pulling that shit in his match against you, anybody would be able to tell you what will happen. He isn't listening. <laughs> would you like to go to dinner? He won't hear anything you have to say to him right now. Hmm. But I'm really hungry. Sounds great. Let's grab something. Okay. <laughs> so it's just me that he's tuning out. <laughs> All right. But is it okay if we stay for a few more minutes? Miyata kun might still come outside, and I just want to say something to him. How long did you plan on waiting? How long? Okay. Fujisan. Uh, is that Imura? Imura? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Imura. Is that spell with two eyes, I guess? He refused to see the press. You think he didn't win, but how tense it was back there. He sure went to a whole different level tonight. I guess his pride wouldn't allow him to lose this one. But he sure is in a bad mood. He kept on declining interview requests. Huh? 
I'm hungry too. Fujisan, let's all go get something to eat. Good idea. Hey, Mashiba. Makarauchi, why don't you come with us? The meal's on the editorial department. Um, well, you see, we... Oh, say no, Makarauchi-san. I want it to be just the two of us. <laughs> Let's go, Makarauchi. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's... <laughs> It's fine, really. The more the merrier. Then we'll be coming along, if you don't mind. Go ahead. Fine, then. Even if it was just the two of us, I'm sure... Makarauchi-san would probably be thinking about something else. Well, that's true. <laughs> Miyata-kun won. It's finally our turn. For us to have the match that we promised. Alright, let's see what's going on with him, man. The match against Makanauchi. We've gotta call it off. I think he I think we've gotta call I think I think he broke his, his arm probably. I don't know what happened, but I think something I think he injured himself. Because from the they showed the glove. It said, please hold on a second, Miyata-san. I know Ichiro-kun didn't do very well today, but still. I don't think he'd get into a hitting match with Makanauchi like he did tonight. I'm sure if he rests his body and comes up with a plan, he'll definitely win. I mean, this match means more to him than anything else. He's like, it's no use. It's not because I'm angry about tonight's match. I'm fine with him exchanging punches. I actually don't prefer passive point base outboxing myself but still then why your right fists or maybe both of them they're broken shit bruh yo yo dude come on this, this is not fair man this is not fear, bro. I told you, man. I told you, bro. I told you, man. I said I feel like he injured his fist because we've never seen him punch that hard. You know what I mean? And then they showed the glove. There's a panel with, the, with, with him looking at his glove. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I think he injured himself. You know what I'm saying? I was hoping it wasn't the case, but he injured himself. The match against Makanauchi was scheduled for April. Three months won't be enough time for you to recover. Broken bones. He's like, Dad. He's like, now nah, hold on. When I said call off the match, I meant the one we have set for April. I would rather you fight in perfect condition. So you don't want to cancel the fight, but delay it. If you don't make it clear enough, that fool's bound to try and do something risky. You'll get your fight with Makanauchi, so just take it easy until you're healed. Once you're better, we can start training again and reschedule the fight for July or August, maybe. I said, I should have taken better care of my fist. I was going to be quiet about it and all, no matter what I have to do. I'm going to fight Makanauchi no matter what. If it's only delayed and not canceled, then I'm very grateful. Now that that's all settled, let's hurry up and get you to a doctor. But the thing, the thing about it is that Ippo wants to move to the world stage. He wants to fight Miata before he makes that move because if he keeps fighting, you know what I'm saying, and waiting, you know what I'm saying, unless... You know what I'm saying? Ippo is going to wait on him for six months. You know what I'm saying? To fight him, which which it might not be the greatest thing to do with Ippo right now. Because Ippo is basically, he needs to go to the world stage. And this fight is kind of what like what's holding him back from getting to the world stage at this point. Because the last fight, maybe, I would say he's ready. 
to climb the ranks, not necessarily to go up against like a, ch a world champion right now, but I think he's he should be able to climb, take his time and climb the ranks. He may not go undefeated, but I think he has the strength and the experience to go to the world stage. So now that that's all settled, let's hurry up and get you to a doctor. Okay. A bone fracture, huh? That's amazing that you noticed. So that's why his perfect right cross couldn't finish him then, yeah? Bashing in your opponent's hard skull like that without any aim in mind, it's only natural it'll break. But for him to have kept hitting him even though it was broken, it just goes to show how Ichiro feels about this match of theirs. And it's, it's true, that's he's driven. He's driven. You know? He's driven, I like that. You know, inescapable destiny. I made a promise with Makarauchi. I guess postponing our fight can be helped. So we'll just have it once. My fists are healed up then. But why did this happen? I could read his punches and movements. It should have ended easily. For a moment I lost my concentration. I got distracted from the match. But it wasn't by Mr. Sakaguchi. It was the man sitting next to him. But why? Especially when I should have been excited for being able to fight Makarauchi. Was it something that was important or no? Right now, there's nothing more important than that promise. But to lose my concentration in a fight just means that as a pro boxer, I'm still too green. Okay. Are we going to find out who this guy is? We were destined to meet Ichiro Miyata. Is that Tagalog? 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 So you must be Pinoy. I take it you understand English? Yes, some. You do? Then I'll make it short and sweet. Just who the hell are you? I'm guessing you're also a boxer, right? If you came to ask for a fight, I'm sorry. No. Already have one lined up. Okay, dude's getting excited, huh? Tch. He just gonna throw a fist at a dude that just finished fighting? Why would you do that? Okay, so you're establishing yourself as a douche. Okay. Did I not say this was a fading meeting? And no one can fight against fate. You and I were meant to fight. Huh? What the hell are you doing? What's wrong, Ichiro? What happened here? A father-son team, is it? So it is fate after all. Do not forget, Ichiro Miyata, that you cannot escape from your destiny. So is he... Is he Sakaguchi's son? Is that what he's saying? Who the hell is he? No idea. Uh, if that hadn't been the wall and he hit me in the face instead, then well, one thing's for sure. He's not the typical cannon fodder. Zai, did you finish making your introductions? Sorry to break this to you, Mr. Sakaguchi, but he turned me down. Don't worry about it. I'll get you your match. Hmm. But if his fist hasn't been injured, if he had followed through on that punch, I wonder what would have happened. Oh, Miata's fists are broken? Don't worry. You'll have your match. There's lots of ways to make it happen. A whole lot, really. That irritating Ichiro Miata but I know how to beat you now, and I've found a boxer able to accomplish what I have in mind. You won't, no, you can't escape from me now. Man, he mad salty, man. He's still salty after all this time, bruh. Man, it's done. Finally, it's done. We can finally relax for a little bit now. Next up, it's Makarauchi. This is going to be Japan's biggest card, huh? What is it? Nothing. After all, I'm the one looking forward to it the most. 
your corner will be sure to give you their full support. Thank you for that. Forget what happened just now. Concentrate on getting healed up on Makanauchi. He's right. I have no time to think about other things. Because finally, I will have my fight with Makanauchi. You can't escape now. Soon, you'll be drawn into the Wheel of Destiny. Alright, back at the boxing club at the gym. So, Ippo, how did your date with Kumi-chan turn out? Did you get a chance to tell her how you feel? Come on. He's not listening. It's like he's closed off his ears. I caught last night's title match on television. That was a close call for Miata, Aoki says. Ah. So he reacts to the sound of Miata's name. <laughs> no matter how bad it looks, a win is a win. And it was Miyata-kun who won the fight. He wasn't himself last night, but he'll be back to normal when it's time for us to fight. If I don't prepare myself for him, then I'll lose in an instant. But the match is in spring, right? That's still three months away. Still, there's only three months left. Speaking about that, sorry, but our plans have been changed. <laughs> oh, man. Plans have been changed. Okay, one more card. Our match was called off. What's the meaning of this? Well, you see... You see, Miata make an idiot out of himself last night or what? You're totally gonna kill him, Ippo. <laughs> You dumb <laughs> Can't you sense the mood right now? What the hell? Coach, what's going on here? What the hell is it? Shh. I got a call from the Kawahara gym this morning. He fractured both of his fists in last night's match. Recovery and rehab will take up three months, so getting into the ring at that time would be impossible. They apologize for having to forsake the match in April. That's what they said. Miyatakun broke both of them. He bashed the poor guy's head in. It's no wonder they're broken. It's going to take some time for them to heal up. It's just been two months for me and my left still has problems. I see. A fracture. I guess it can't be helped then. If, he in if he's injured, I guess there isn't anything we can do really. He says, one more thing, upon recovery for the OPPF title in his return match, they've decided that they'll give Makanauchi Ippo priority as the first challenger. Huh? Like, so then that means it's not canceled, but postponed. Okay, so postponed, that's good news. So you'll fight after all. Man, I thought you two were really out of luck for a minute. Yeah. People get heated up over fights between rivals that never actually come together all the time. Yup, it's great, really great. In the meantime, kid, huh? Shouldn't you be resting for another week at least? Uh huh? What do you do if that cut from the Taki fight reopens itself? Just go home and rest up already. Didn't you say that you wanted to fight Miata in your best form? So come summertime, you can train non-stop to your heart's content. In the meantime, don't let your feelings lose any of their edge. Yes, sir. Now go home already, would you? Yes, sir. It must be a pain setting up a match between weaklings. <laughs> Shut the hell up. You need to run your body, not your mouth. Postponed, huh? But I still feel the same way. Because we'll finally get to fight. The way he struggled until his fist gave out. His determination to win the match. He was desperately trying to keep his promise with me. I really wanted to fight him as soon as possible. But there's no point if he's not in his best condition. For now, he should focus on healing his fist. We'll meet in the ring in our best condition I'll just wait until that time comes. I always believed our promise would be fulfilled one day. 
Let's settle this inside the pro ring until that gap is filled. Is the OPBF title not good enough for you? I may have forced it on you, but still, I think of it as a promise. That's right. I'll be waiting for you, Miyata-kun. All right. WBC middleweight world title match champion Takamura versus third rank Richard Fox. All right. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, there's no reason for me to stay in the middleweight class. <laughs> Ah, well, Fox does mean Kitsune, doesn't he? It's t He's talking about me now, isn't he? Sounds like it. Once my fo fox hunts over, I'll conquer my third weight class. I'm going to take over the super middleweight division. Like, idiot. Richard Fox, the name does mean Kitsune. This is sure to cause another ruckus. Dismissed. What did Jam say? Hmm? Hmm? You said it's gonna be your fox hunt? Dirty bastard? What the fuck, man? You wanna fight right here? Right now? It's already starting. He pissed him off good. Come on. Somebody stop this already. <laughs> Takamura is still quite the show off. He sure is. There isn't any doubt things will be heated up. In just one week for this world title match. He sure is Japan's boxing ace. Alright. Takamura's performance is going to be poetry in motion. And that's a good thing for us. Especially with Miyata versus Makana which he postponed for now. There wouldn't have been a big void in our magazine. Yeah it does stink really. The whole country has been looking forward to it. And I've been here not stopping this thing let's take a break here all right let's get it popping well, takamura's performance is going to be poetry in motion especially with miata versus makana which postponed for now there would have been a big void in our magazine yeah it does stink really the whole country has been looking forward to it too but we can't help it that he's injured anyways Takamura is all we've got to rely on now. Okay, what is she printing? It looks like we've got another boxer that we could highlight. What? <laughs> the last champion carnival card. The junior lightweight junior lightweight title match. They got someone to fight Mash Mashiva? But who is it? Spit it out already. In a way, it's the match that you'd want to see the most, and the match you wouldn't want to see at the same time. Is it Kimura? Either way, there's no doubt that the Kuroko and all is going to be painted with blood. The press has already announced it. Guess we can back out now. You really okay with this, Mashiba? I just want to be sure on one thing. It ain't against the law to kill a guy in the ring, right? Huh? <laughs> Yo, Mashiba is a sap. Oh, it's Sawamura. <laughs> no way. Two scumbags. Now, this is a match to see. <laughs> Two of the scumbags. Two scumbags going at it. Even though Mashiba kind of mellowed out. <laughs> you know, don't bother planning on going back to Nagoya alive. Saramura Ryue. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it, man. Let's go. We got three more chapters to go. Let's get it. All right. It's been a while since we've been to Ryu Goku. Kogugi King. You Kogugi Kan. Kogugu. Whatever. Our last big event was at Yokohama Arena. It must be good being a two-time world champ. You get to fight in all the big arenas. But there's still plenty to worry about. You think that Takamura-san's opponent is strong? Of course he's really strong. But on top of that, Takamura-san really fired him up beforehand as well. He, he did call it a fox hunt after all. There's no way it wouldn't make him angry. 
but it'll be fine. Takamura is definitely going to win. Yeah. I'm more worried about the opener's bouts. Don't call them that. It offends them. They aren't taking them seriously. But Ileki and Pop Papaya are both strong fighters. They took them to draws the last time. I'm sure they've got plans in mind for this time. Ah, Fujisan. Yo. So how's the Grandmaster Takamura's condition? He doesn't seem to be doing poorly, but he hasn't been sparring lately, so... But he didn't spar the last time either. Takamura doesn't hate sparring or anything like that, does he? He seems the type who would get in the swing of things by beating people up. I haven't seen him do any sparring recently either. He says that fighting with someone a level below him would just mess up his rhythm. There's no one in Japan who compares to him, and so he has a hard time finding partners. But as long as it's him, I'm sure that he'll be able to win. Oh, yeah? I've got big news. Big news? With you and Miyata out of the picture, Boxing Fan is going to have some lonely page space. We're not over yet. We're postponed, that's all. But anyway, what kind of news could compare to their card in this country? It's Mashiba. That's right. Back then, he didn't have a carnival opponent lined up yet. The challenger, Nagoya's very own, Saramura Ryue. <laughs> Man, what a matchup. That's no boxing match. It will be a street fight. You're damn right. Mashiba-san against Saramura-san. Maybe more than a street fight. Those two might try to kill each other even. Mashiba asked for him. And they both gave the thumbs up already. What he said back then, there's still one guy that I have to pay back. He was talking about this. This really is big news. We need to tell Kimura-san. Tell Kimura-san? Saramura-san's moved up to the junior lightweight division, hasn't he? We have to tell him that there are two monsters in his weight class now. <laughs> Sucks to be Kimura-san. Don't tell him right before his big match. Fujisan, I'll see you later. Yup, yeah. wait, Marabukun. La da da da. <laughs> La da da di. Huh? What is he so happy for? Mashiba and Saramura, I've heard all about it. I already know. La da da. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Sorry, but a real monster is moved to your weight class, you know. So now there are two monsters, understand? That's right. Just go ahead and give it up. You won't ever get another chance at the title again. He's laughing. He's like, you fools. <laughs> you fools. How could I not be excited about this? Those monsters will tear each other apart. And one of them is bound to die. Hopefully they'll get rid of each other. But even if one of them survives, no way they'd be on Earth. They'd be completely worn out and damaged. And then somebody else other than me will challenge for the title, hurting him even more. And if I challenge whoever wins, then the title is all mine, all mine! <laughs> okay, good. I'm going on ahead of you. <laughs> the divide and conquer plan. It's a pretty underhanded scheme. <laughs> it usually sounds doable, doesn't it? Doesn't it? <laughs> Kimura, please get ready to make your entrance. For your plan to succeed, you can't go down any lower in the rankings. You're drowning in the water if you lose today. I'll win. I'm going to kick his ass. All right. It's like, ugh. Did he build up his body? He looks hard as stone. Pause. No fear, bastard. Fixed your weakness, did you? It's starting. Do your best, Kimura-san. God damn it, I had faith in you. I haven't been practicing anything but body blows. And now, no way, he couldn't overcome his weakness in such a short amount of time. Those muscles are all just for sure. There he goes. I've got you now. I'm going to tear you a new one. Ooh, he got in there. That boy is not going to fall, though. Those are some real abs. Those are some real abs. Nothing. Like, yes, he got him. 
Nope. <laughs> Whoa, he can actually take that? This foreigner has a strong body. I thought that I'd be beating on his soft gut, but my hand's tingling. He's the real deal. This guy really has fixed his weak spot. All right, what now? What now? What do I do now? Tch, sharp. He managed to cut me. That was close, but he still took away the rhythm. I'm not going to lose. I can still see myself as the national champ. If one isn't enough, then two or three. I'll pour him on and see what happens then. Okay. From the look on your face, it looks like I'm hurting you. See you in hell. <laughs> You're getting pulled into his pace. Remember, his, spe his specialty punch is the man. I really envy that Kimura, says Aoki. He just has to go for his opponent's body. He's got it made so easy, but he's sure taking his time about it. What do you suppose is going on now? Well, his opponent does specialize in counters, so I'm sure Kimura is being careful of that. <laughs> is, this, is this sim on the four? There shouldn't be a thing for us to worry about. <laughs> oh my god. That is some counter. And he just took it. <laughs> I told him not to get dragged into his opponent's rhythm. It's like, is he done for? Five. I'm up. I can still fight. Look out. He's coming right for you, huh? Damn it. What? Isn't he? Aren't in fight in boxing? You have to wait on the the ref to start it again. You can't just rush in while the ref is trying to make sure the boxer is okay. So that's kind of weird. Maybe back in the day, they used to do... Maybe that's how it was back in the day. I don't know. But you do have to wait until the ref gives you the okay again. Fight. You know what I'm saying? After a, a knockdown. You can't just rush in like that. You know? So that was a close one. Thank goodness he missed that. Carefully out there, idiot. If I fight it out in the middle range... No telling when he'll nail me with another counter. What should I do? Ugh. Oh, you backed up. Okay. You can't run around in circles forever. Be a man, would you? I'm losing sight of the Japanese title. Sensei! What's, happ what's happening to Kimura now? It's the seventh round. He's surviving somehow. From, from a point perspective, it's too late to come back now. Too late to come back. So he's just been getting his ass kicked? He, he got his head together and has started fighting it out, but it's just throwing all body blows. So he seemed to only be practicing body blows too. So if that's not going to work out, then he's probably in trouble. Nothing but body blows, huh? Take this and this. All those perfect body shots and it's not giving him the upper hand. He really did work hard to overcome his weak spot. Ooh, took another one. He's starting to intercept all the body blows. He's a counter puncher. You can't use the same thing over and over. It's not like he doesn't know what you're going to do. But I think that staying up close and fighting is a pretty good idea. If he gets too far away... He'll be hit with a big one. But it's all for nothing at this rate. He'd be better off hoping to pull off a big shot himself, even as a fluke. His opponent has seen through his attack pattern, and it's also losing out in points. He should aim for a knockout no matter what the cost. He's right. But his repeated body shots have all ended in failure. He really shouldn't be aiming just low. Too many low shots. Kimura-san is going for his Sunday punch. Oh. What the hell is this Sunday punch? It's the first time I'm hearing about this Sunday punch. Okay. The comeback kid. Ha-ha. It's a body blow again. Ha. Ah. 
to keep taking it. Block the body blows and hit him with a left hook. He's done it so many times that his rhythm's matched up now. Effective or not, those body blows are way too risky. They're predictable, and it's all over if he gets hit again. Senpai, Kimura-san is going to lose. You can't do those body shots forever. You're behind on the scorecards. Knock him out. Take the pace away. All right. Still going for body blows. He's blocked again. He already knows his attack pattern. Ha! Blocked again. He's got the timing down. He's done for. This is it. Kimura-san's Sunday punch. Oh my god. And <laughs> he was setting him up this entire time. Ooh. Lean back. Back, yo. He 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 Laid him out. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's done it. That was his dragon fish blow. A high speed, low to high combination. He kept repeating all those punches to make him focus on his lower guard. It was a perfectly planned bait and switch. Unbelievable. So he spent seven rounds setting up a feint? He really is a veteran after all. Yep. You did it, Kimura. Was that your plan? I got hope in you again. Ah, thanks a lot. You can just call me the comeback kid. <laughs> Don't get too excited yet. The fight's still not over. Look in front of you. Ah, so you can still stand. Time to put an end to this. So it went the distance and then the decision was a draw? That bastard cheated. He hardened his body. It's a rematch, man. Of course he would prepare himself for you. Bullshit. I'll be saying the same thing back at you. Kimura showed no sign of improvement. His fight turned out just as shitty as last time. It seems that you've lost your shot at the national title. And it's up to me to hold down the fort. Get ready, papaya. <laughs> oh, what is it? Uh, Aoki, are you going to fight it out with that hat on? Take that shit off. <laughs> That's really inappropriate, you know. So I can't wear it? Of course not. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and I, what's with his head? Brocco man's now down to five strongs of hair. <laughs> You look pretty, really stupid with that hair. Hurry up and put the hat back on your head. You'd be better off with a shaved head. Looks like he grew back some more hair. Two strands. Meh. What's so funny? <laughs> it's all your fucking fault. <laughs> but if you can't hold it in, go right on ahead then. Better laugh it up while you still can because you're going to be leaving this ring in tears. Huh? Why does Akusan look so relaxed? He's actually laughing right now. It's just that Sensei said that it'd be. What is it, T Maoki? My opponent's weakness is a critical lack of stamina. It's not something you can overcome in a short amount of time, like Kimura's opponent. Yep, and Papaya's strongest weapon is a right straight called a coconut punch. It's enough to knock you clean out. And since he doesn't have any stamina, He'll definitely come swinging with that and try to end it in the first half. He'll avoid him at the beginning and run around, then end it in the second half? Simple-minded, isn't it? Isn't he? Only 30 points for that answer. Can I beat him up? <laughs> this man really just called Manabu simple-minded. I won't run away. If I do, I'll just give him a chance to rest. I'll make him fire off. Uh, I'll make him fire off that coconut punch at middle range. So he's going to tire him out by making hit not making him hit nothing but hair. Doesn't he understand the risk behind it? What if he can't dodge them at all? He could block them. Hokisan has been practicing nothing but his garden. He's been practicing a flexible block, able to withstand even heavy impacts. So he's not going to run, he'll meet that huge punch head on. Awesome. He's named it. 
Operation Ineffective Action. The name is kind of lame, though. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was really good. That was really good. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking that in the future, I might start streaming my, my read-throughs, to be honest. I don't know if you guys are interested in that. Let me know, you know, and I'll pick a time to stream it, and I'll probably do it, you know, late on the days that I'm recording it. I'll just stream it also. So if you guys want to know that, I do record on... I record... Um, Ippo and Berserk on Thursdays and Fridays. So if you guys want me, I, I usually, what I'm planning to do is to do it as my last reaction for the day. So, um, so we can definitely stream it if you guys want. Um, I mean, it doesn't take long. It's like a two, it would be like a two hour stream. I could stream it. We could talk about it, whatever. Um, I mean, in some ways, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody coming and spoiling anything for me, but just let me know if this is something that you would want to see me stream. Um, and I'll do that. No doubt about it. But, um, you know, it's all about being present for the stream too. So I don't know, maybe I'll just stream it. Um, I don't think there is an issue with me streaming, um, the panels. I'll just like re-edit it and then upload it to the channel, whatever we'll do that but okay guys that is it for this make sure you stick around for the review all right guys that was 10 chapters of ippo wow and wow miata my guy <laughs> miata went ape doo doo on this dude zhang zhang bang Zhang Bang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to say about this, it was a very good fight. Why he got distracted? I don't know. Maybe it's because of all of this faded stuff that the dude came up and was talking about. I'm not I'm not in that boat where I'm saying, oh, this is what he sh this is what he should have done or or whatever. The situation is I think he should have been focused on the fight don't would even be worrying about Ippo and what you promised him even though that's what ultimately drove him to win the fight I think I really do I was very disappointed in his focus when he was in the fight there was no need for Miata to take that beating that he got he was he, he got distracted um, and I think as a seasoned fighter and even himself was disappointed in himself too, you know. So I, I think as a seasoned fighter, I, I was very disappointed in him as a champion. You know what I'm saying? As a as a champion and as a pro, I don't want to see that from Miata. You know what I'm saying? As to not being focused on the fight itself, I can understand if you are if you get distracted by thinking of a strategy, and and you know you may have maybe overthinking it, and you probably you know, lose sight or not focus because you're like, how will he attack, blah, 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 and you're watching, you know, because that's, it's, you know, you, you want to call it like focused um, rage, you're still thinking about the fight, you know, so there's nothing wrong with that. If you get caught off guard and you get caught off guard, nobody is perfect. But to be completely thinking about something outside of the realm of the fight of somebody in the stands, that's very, very disappointing. You know, I didn't expect that from Miata because I hold him in high regards in, you know what I'm saying? Out of everybody that we've that we've seen fight, he's in my top five fighters. He's at the very bottom of the top five, but he's still top, you know what I'm saying? Because for me, it's Takamura, Ippo, and this is not... You know who I love the best so I rate the fighters as you know the fighters that we've seen in in the series so far I would give Takamura we haven't seen much of Ricardo other than the one fight he beat Date and he's in my top five but I but I'm he's in my top five purely because of his record so he's a brilliant fighter he destroyed Date 
And, you know, Date put up a really good fight, but Ricardo was just too much for him, you know, in my opinion. But Ricardo is in in my my number four spot. You know what I'm saying? Then I have Date as number three, Ippo as number two, you know, as fighters that I've really come to resonate with in, in the series. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people is going to say, why don't you have, like, Ricardo at number one? You know, he's a better fighter than all of them. I don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know if, you know, pound for pound, he could beat somebody like Takamura. We don't know that. The reason why I have Takamura there, because Takamura has proven, you know what I'm saying? He has proven, and I'm not I'm not ac- accenting proven because of, you know, you know, his record or anything like that. With Takamura, I have seen him fight multiple times. I know his heart. I've seen him being tested. With Ricardo, he's just he just came in with perfection and he left with perfection. So it's kind of like he. I haven't seen him seen him I the eye test enough with him for me to have him as number one. Yes, his record is extremely impressive. Don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, I think Takamura. It is just he's that guy. He doesn't really care. He just wants to fight. He wants to conquer as many divisions as he can conquer, and I'm all for that. You know what I'm saying? So um, we'll get to see. I don't know if he's gonna have any big, really big fights again. You know, with you know what I'm saying as big as the one between him and Hawk. But I'm curious to see um, this Fox dude how he's gonna do against. Um, against Takamura. I think he's going to be a wash. I think Takamura is going to beat him very easily, but we'll see how how that goes, you know. Um, But in any case, guys, this was really good. I liked it very much, this read-through. Ten chapters. We got to see the end of Miata's fight. Hopefully, he does, you know what I'm saying, the fight was delayed because of his injury. Um, I expect more of him. Ippo is not one to lose focus like that. So Ippo is showing a lot more maturity when it comes on to being in the ring. Yes, every now and then he'll think about Miata, but at the same time, when he's focused, he's focused. It's very hard to catch Ippo off guard based on a distraction. You get what I'm saying? He's still quick enough to kind of get out of the way, so I'm still going to have him there. I don't think, I don't, I still don't think at this moment in time at what I'm reading and where I am, I don't think they're on the even playing field. I don't think so. I think Ippo is a better fighter, in my opinion. I still think he's a better fighter. Miata does not have punching power, and that is going to be a detriment for him against Ippo because once Hippo get one good hit in, you are folded, and it might affect you for the rest of the match. You get what I'm saying? If Ippo can get a good hit on you, you have to be tough. Miata is not tough. He can't take hits. That's why he he's a he's a dancer in the ring. He can't take hits. So I'm he gets hit by Hippo, bro. And Hippo is only getting stronger. He's not like getting weaker. This dude is punching wood into a hillside, my guy. You know what I'm saying like um, I heard someone say that in the, in the, um, I think someone said that, um, that's what the, 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 the coach, the, 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 the manager, the gym, what's his name again? <laughs> come, come, go. I, I, I don't remember his name. Was, <laughs> I don't remember. I'm blanking on the coach's name right now. So that he was actually using his fist, but Ippo used, uses an hammer. You know what I'm saying? He uses a hammer to hammer the wood. It's just as much power, bro. I mean, you get a lot more leverage when you use a hammer. But to use your fist, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, but still, to be able to have that kind of strength to be hammering wood into a hillside, okay? It takes a tremendous amount of power nonetheless so i still give ippo because ippo is learning and that's the thing about ippo that i love about his character is that he's learning on the fly a lot of times 
you know what I'm saying, in his fights. Um, and the fact that he's overcome one of the things that I wanted to see him overcome where he just gets in the ring and just demolishes an opponent without making mistakes, we've seen that now. And that's why I said I think he's ready to go to the world stage. You know, um, I'm not, you know, too, you know, interested in the Aoki and Kimura fights. You know what I'm saying? They're funny, and that's all they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I want to see that Saramura versus Mashibado. Like, I hope they, I hope they do that fight, and they don't just pass over it and tell us who win. Hopefully, they do that fight. Um, and we get to see it. But anyways, guys, that is it for my review. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my read-through, man. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed, what you liked about it. Um, appreciate you guys. Let me know if you want me to stream my manga, re my manga read-throughs. I will do that at the time when I'm recording it. So I'll just hit the stream button. You guys can come in and watch me um, go through it and read through it just the same. All right, so let me know if you guys want me to do that. And, of course, don't forget to hit that like button, and I will catch you guys later, man.